All right, folks, so we had our first lesson here in this class on perspectives. So in this student edit master's class, I just want to go through and I want to now apply what we've learned and I want to talk about the power of storytelling. Now, if you're just tuning in to episode two, in episode one, I made a mention about how the size of characters matters. So in this lesson, what I want to do, I want to deal with the three elements of atmospheric perspective. The first one being size the second one being clarity, and the third one being saturation. Now, atmospheric perspective tells a story. In addition to the crop, it is really the way that you tell the viewer what is going on in your story. So I'm going to start with cropping, and then we're going to get into atmospheric perspective. Now, this is the image as it was originally shot, and so I think that there's some good space here. He wanted the bear coming out of it. But the story isn't really clear. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to recrop. To recrop, come over here. Now I'm in a one-to-one -one ratio. Now how did I get there? Click on the little cog, hit on one-to-one, -one, and now you can crop it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to crop out this half of the image. Because I think the entire story is over here. We want to make sure that we get the road. We want to make sure we get the road coming in. We want to make sure we get the bear. But other than that, I think I'm pretty good with everything else that's here. I think that this is wasted space in a way in order to get the point across. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Now let's use our perspective lesson that we learned last time. I'm going to come down and we're going to group the flare, the girl, and the girl's shadow. All right, we're going to group those so that they move as a unit. I'm going to hold control and I'm going to drag her up. Now you remember in lesson one, the bag was cut right about here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to line her up until the bag is cut in roughly the same spot. And you see that I'm going to move her up in size. This now makes her the target. Okay. Now, let's take a look at the bear, because the bear is the also the thing that this person wanted us to see. And so what I'm going to do with the bear now, I'm going to come up, I'm going to hold control, I'm going to move the bear up, and you remember that the bear, when it was originally shot, had the horizon line way up above it? I'm going to make the bear a little smaller, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop the perspective a little bit, or I should say the size, so it's still the second biggest thing, okay? So that's kind of how that's going to work. All right, so we got the size relatively right. We got the perspective right. Now let's talk about atmospheric perspective here. To make this clear, I'm going to turn off the fog layer. Now, the thing that I really like that the student did, and the student did an excellent job at this, is each one of these characters has a gradient map applied to it. So the color of this right now off the bat for a base is really good. All right, so if we're looking at these characters, notice how the background, the midground, and the foreground, as I'm going to call them, I'm actually going to rename these foreground, midground, and we'll call this background. Okay, it's already there. All right, so these all have the same saturation, the same lightness, the same everything. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a saturation adjustment to these characters. That's an HSL. Now, things closer to the viewer tend to be more saturated. Now that's an extreme amount of saturation, but watch what happens when I move it over to the woman. Now, I can make her a little bit more saturated. Okay, Now that brings her a little bit closer. Same thing with the bear. Hue saturation lightness. And of course, we're going to be adjusting these constantly, so don't get all up in arms saying that, oh, it's wrong. Oh, this isn't the final. Okay. All right. Now let's go ahead and go to the background. And let's go ahead and desaturate a little bit. All right. Probably right about there. All right. Now, let's do something else here. 
if we just dealt with the saturation to help tell the story, and then we dealt with the cropping there, the next one we're going to look at is the brightness or the lightness, right? Things in the back tend to be a little darker. Things in the front tend to be a little lighter. So what I'm going to do now, foreground, midground, background again, I'm going to add a levels adjustment. Now, let's go ahead and attach this over to the midground. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a curves adjustment. All right, so make sure the curves is inside the bear. Yep. All right. Drop that down. Drop that up. That is really good. You see how that changes the game. All right. And this actually matches somewhat a light source because the light source eventually will be coming from here. And I'm going to cast it off the bear. So you're in pretty good shape. Same thing with this woman here. We're going to go to the foreground. All right. We're going to go to the woman here. We're going to go to curves. I'm going to raise that up. I'm going to put that here. Now let's go ahead and lighten this. All right. So we've got our saturation. We've got our luminance. And now we have to work on our clarity. So the last adjustment here we're going to make for the bear and the person. This one is going to be in layers. We're going to add an adjust a live filter layer. Sorry. And we're going to sharpen. And I like to use an unsharp mask. Attach it to the foreground. And crank that bad boy up. Okay. I also want to crank the factor up a little bit. Now you see how that makes it different. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. Okay, now because we're expanding the image and we're zooming in super close, we're going to have some amount of, say, this is as good as it gets, right? So I like to adjust my radius and my factor until I get something that I kind of like. And for right now, for the purposes of this class, that will do. Same thing here with the bear now. I'm going to come over to layer. I'm going to put in an adjust the live filter layer. Sorry, did it again. And an unsharp mask layer. Attach it to the bear. There we go. Now we want a little bit less clarity there in the bear than we have in her, right? All right, let's go ahead and go file, save as. I'm going to call this working file so that we do this. All right, so let's take a look at where we were and where we came from. File, open recent, beginning, current. All right, so that's a little bit about atmospheric perspective, how you use the saturation of an object, the lightness of an object, and the size of an object to help tell the story in addition to cropping your image to tell the proper narrative. All right, in the next lesson, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna isolate these images to figure out what goes in front of what, and we're gonna get into the magic of lighting. All right, we'll see you in the next one.